Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this LibreOffice Writer tutorial, I'd like to show you how to integrate images into your document. So the easiest way to add an image is to go up to the main toolbar next to where it says Insert Table, and click on Image. It's very recognizable because the background kind of looks like a painting. Alternatively, you can go up to Insert and Image from the main menu, which will bring you to the exact same dialog window called Insert Image, where you can basically go through your computer uh, in network drives and select any image that matches one of these standard formats. As you can see, just about every image format in existence is out there. Um, choose it, hit open, and it will be inserted into your document. You can see a few different things here, including an anchor point and these green boxes, which are things you can click on in order to scale the image up or down depending on your needs. So for instance, we can take the bottom right hand corner, left click it and hold it, and scale it towards the top left, thus reducing the image size. And you can see that the ratio of the image is kept in check without hitting any additional buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and scale that down there. And by doing that, the image is no longer equal to the size of the document. Uh, basically, larger documents or uh, larger images are automatically going to be scaled down to the document so it fits within the content. But here it's been scaled down further than that, and it's now wrapping with the text. That's because optimal page wrap is selected up here on the frame toolbar. And we can choose a different page wrap if we happen to want it. For instance, page wrap off will make it so that text will just basically go to the next line wherever the image is. Uh, the text is going to try to avoid that and go on the lines above and below it. You can also choose wrap through, which is interesting because the text will now essentially completely ignore the image and uh, the image will just be there as a separate entity altogether. Like text, it's also possible to use alignment tools to position your image on the document. So the relation between the anchor point and the image itself is that the image is positioned on the page with reference to the anchor point. So right now, in the background, this image is something like 150 pixels over to the right and 100 pixels down from the anchor point. So if I move the anchor point, the image is going to move likewise but it's going to maintain the same distance from the anchor point. Um, a quicker way to use the anchor point would basically be to position the image immediately above or below it, and we can use that using these anchor tools, align top to anchor, middle to anchor, or bottom to anchor. Top to anchor means that the top, very top of the image is aligned with the anchor. Likewise, we also have the align middle to anchor and align bottom to anchor tools. So with images and other drawn elements inside of LibreOffice Writer documents, we can control at which order they will display on the page. So we can have certain elements hide behind, say, this image, or put certain image uh, elements in front of the image. It also works with other images that are stock, uh, stacked on top of each other. So in order to use this, we have these controls, bring to front, forward one, back one, and send to back available to us. If I hit send to back with the image selected though, you'll notice that it doesn't hide behind the text. So these controls do not interact with the text directly. But if we go to insert in the menu bar, shape, and let's say insert a rectangle into our document, drawing it here. And then we take this rectangle and we hit send to back, it's going to appear behind the image. So you could use that for uh, basically kind of like collage style things or to add sort of a fake background or shadow to a box, whatever you can come up with. Uh, likewise, we can take the image and hit send to back so the rectangles in front. And then we can go to insert shape line, freeform line, and draw more things on top of those other things. So really you can kind of actually use a writer document as your own drawing canvas if that's what you want to do. One more option available to you with images inside of LibreOffice Writer is the ability to add borders. So with this drop down menu, we can select borders on each side of the uh, image or just a single side. But here I'll go ahead and choose borders for all sides. As you can see, it adds a little black line around it, which we can modify with the next option, border style. Perhaps we want it to be a dotted border. That's perfectly fine and we can do that. We can also change border color for instance, changing it to uh, pink. And we can add a background color, which uh, will kind of show 
um, mostly on this border here because this is a completely solid image, but you'll be able to see kind of what I'm talking about there. So now it's a border with a background of green and it's uh, pink dots, probably not what you'd go by for standard, but the options are there available to you if you want them. Taking a lesson out of many photo editing apps, you can also play around with filters on your images in LibreOffice Writer. So if we click this filter drop down marked by the sparkly wand, we can apply things like invert, uh, inverting color, which is kind of interesting in some ways. Uh, we can choose relief, which will basically uh, take a lot of the information away, make it kind of black and white, and depending on where you position the light source, it may look um, kind of like a tombstone style. So if we go up here and do that, it basically stripped out all the color and it's much more like a bevel shape because all the elements, instead of just having color, actually have some visual depth to them now. One of the most useful tools is going to be cropping images. Um, so if you want to remove the top or the bottom, the left or the right of your document, instead of manipulating the green boxes for controlling the size, you hit crop image and you're given these red rectangles. So if I click on the top of this uh, image now with the centered red um, box and I take it down, it's actually going to cut off the top portion of my image. Likewise, I can do it with the bottom. I can do it with the right side. I can do it with the left side. And yeah, that's one way to shrink your image without um, shrinking each individual element on the image. And it's also possible to rotate your image 90 degrees at a time by hitting rotate left or hitting rotate right. If you'd like to make your image fade into the background a little bit, you can give it some transparency here with this transparency box. For instance, if I give it a 50% transparency, then the image itself should be 50% see-through. Uh, as you can see though, the background color does interact with this. So although the image itself is 50% transparent, the background color is not. It's still 100% transparent. So we can remove the background color by uh, going over there and now that the image no longer has a background color, you can see that we can see the text appear behind the image uh, since our image is almost acting like glass now. Finally, we have the ability to play around with the coloring of the image. So I will go ahead and remove the transparency there. And if we want to make our image more red, we can say add 50% red or 33% green. Um, we can make it brighter by increasing that number as a percent. And we can add contrast to our image so that the visual elements that are displaying are distinctly more different from each other. Though you wouldn't be able to see it very well by increasing the contrast here because it's already so uniform with those filters enabled. The last control we have available to us is gamma. By increasing the gamma towards a infinite positive number, it's going to make the image incredibly bright, almost as if you had the sun flashing straight onto it. And if we remove gamma, let's say drop it all the way down to 0 0.10, then the colors are going to be very vivid. Um, and in a way, it does darken it as well. So that's a quick run through of images and all of the controls that are available to images within LibreOffice Writer. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching. Consider checking out my Patreon if you'd like to donate to the channel, and I'll see you in my next video.